Imagine living with your crush for a month. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, not for Gyro Yakwin, a shy and nerdy high schooler who gets paired with the wrong girl in a bizarre school project. The project is called Marriage Simulation, and it's supposed to teach students about responsibility and relationships. But for Gyro, it's more like a nightmare. Gyro has a crush on his childhood friend, Shiori, but she gets paired with his rival, Minami, a popular and handsome guy. Gyro gets stuck with Akari, a bubbly and outgoing girl who also likes Minami. Akari is not happy with Gyro either, and she makes fun of him and ignores him until this happens. The story starts with Akari and her crew arriving and bumping into Gyro and Sadaharu. Akari is rude and bossy to them, telling them to get out of her way. Gyro notices that Akari changes her attitude when Minami shows up. She becomes sweet and friendly, trying to impress him. In class, the teacher announces the pairs for the project. He explains that the project is designed to prepare them for marriage by making them live together in a special apartment provided by the school. They will also wear devices that monitor their heart rate and other vitals, as well as their compatibility score. The higher the score, the better the rank. The top 10 couples will get a chance to switch partners if they want. Gyro is shocked when he hears his name called with Akari's. He can't believe he has to live with her for a month. Akari is equally furious. She knows that Gyro likes Shiori and she thinks he's a loser. They argue and bicker, but they soon realize that their score is dropping because of their fighting. Akari comes up with a plan. They should pretend to get along so they can raise their score and become a couple that has a top rank. Then they can switch partners with Minami and Shiori, who are also paired together. Gyro is reluctant but agrees to try. He gets embarrassed when he thinks about what it means to be a top-ranked couple, such as holding hands, smooching and cuddling. Akari teases him for being shy and innocent. He goes to get a drink to calm down. He sees Minami and Shiori walking together and talking happily. He feels depressed and jealous. Akari tries to cheer him up and tells him that they can do this if they work hard. She asks him to trust her and give his best. Akari wants a goodbye kiss from Jairo before he goes out with Sadaharu. She thinks he's too shy to do it, but he surprises her by kissing her. She freaks out because she meant a cheek kiss. The next morning, Akari hits Jairo with a frying pan to wake him up. He was dreaming of Shiori, his crush. He sighs and goes to school. He sees Shiori and Minami, her couple, laughing together. He feels jealous and sad. Jairo's teacher warns him that the marriage simulation is crucial for his graduation. It rains and Jairo is trapped at school with Sadaharu. Akari shows up, but she leaves them to go to karaoke with Minami. Jairo feels lonely and betrayed. Shiori comes to the school. She stayed late to study. She hugs Jairo and they almost kiss, but Minami interrupts them. He came to get Shiori because she left her umbrella. They leave together, leaving Jairo alone. Akari hears everything and feels sorry for Jairo. She goes back to him and shares her umbrella with him. They walk home together. She tells him to cheer up and not give up on Shiori. She says he needs to work hard and impress her. At home, Akari makes some yummy omelette rice for them. Jairo is impressed by her cooking. He feeds her a bite and they get closer. They are about to kiss again, but his phone rings and ruin the mood. They both think about the kiss. That night, Jairo dreams of Shiori again until Akari wakes him up. She asks him to watch some horror movies with her. She says it will help them get more points for their marriage simulation. She also gives him some pajamas to wear for the same reason. While they are changing into their pajamas lightning strikes and the power goes out. Akari screams and clings to Gyro. She's terrified of thunderstorms. They can't get into their rooms because they need their fingerprints to unlock them. They have to sleep on the couch together. Gyro tries to tell Akari a spooky story to pass the time, but she freaks out even more. He gives up and lights some candles instead. They start to doze off next to each other. Gyro feels embarrassed, but he also thinks Akari looks cute when she sleeps. The next day, Gyro and Sadaharu are shocked to see that Gyro and Akari have become a B-ranked couple. But they are even more shocked to see that Minami and Shiori are an E-ranked couple with hardly any points. Gyro feels happy that Shiori and Minami are not close, but he also feels worried for Shiori. Meanwhile, Shiori is listening to Mei play the piano at the music club. They are best friends and Mei asks Shiori about her couple score. Shiori says she already has someone she likes. Later, Jairo is sick and lonely because Akari went out with her friends. He's surprised when Shiori comes to visit him. Akari is at a dessert shop with her friends Sachai and Natsumi. They tease her about her crush on Minami. They talk about the desserts that have names like kisses. Akari thinks about her kiss with Jairo. Jairo and Shiori hang out and talk about their childhood memories. Jairo used to take care of Shiori when she was ill. One day, Shiori had to move to another school. 
Jaira wanted to confess his feelings to her, but he stopped when she said she was worried about losing their friendship. He never told her he loved her. She brings him some tasty food and they talk about their fake marriages. He feels guilty and asks her if she's okay with her score. Shiori tells Jairo that she's nervous around guys she doesn't know well. That's why her score with Minami is low. She also says she wished they were paired together. Jairo feels a pang in his chest, but he tries to encourage her. He tells her to be more confident and friendly with Minami, even if it means they might get closer. Akari and her friends are gossiping about Shiori and Minami. They heard that they don't get along at all. They start to make fun of Jairo, too. They say he's boring and lame. Akari feels uncomfortable and doesn't say anything. Jairo falls asleep and Shiori leans over him. She wants to kiss him, but she stops. She has a crush on him since they were kids. She remembers the day they parted ways. Jairo almost confessed to her, but he didn't. She almost confessed to him too, but she didn't. She feels sad that she still can't tell him how she feels. Akari comes back and Jairo thanks her for sending Shiori to care for him. He says he will try his best to score couple points so that she can be with Minami. He goes to sleep and Akari feels torn. Akari and Jairo are having lunch together. They are pretending to be married, but they want to switch to their real crushes. Akari asks Jairo what kind of girl Minami likes. Jairo thinks that maybe Minami likes girls who can cook well. He suggests that Akari makes bento for him. They work together to make bento for Minami. They come up with many delicious dishes to put in the box. Jairo tastes them and says they are perfect. At lunchtime, Sadaharu is jealous of Jairo's bento. It's full of Akari's cooking. They had some leftovers from the morning. Sadaharu says that Jairo is living a manga life. He asks him to share his experiences with his best friend. Jairo is annoyed by Sadaharu's comments about Akari. He is surprised when Akari comes over to ask him how the lunch is. The following morning, Akari is making bento for Minami again. She gives some to Jairo too. He finds it very tasty. But he feels weird because the food is meant for Minami. He feels jealous because Akari has dressed up and wrapped the bento nicely for Minami. They get carried away and almost kiss, but they are interrupted by the doorbell. It's Shiori with some apple pies. She says that Minami asked her to make them for him because he loves sweets. Shiori sees the bento box that Akari made for Minami. She also sees the apple pies that she made for him. She feels discouraged. She thinks that her cooking is not good enough for Minami. She decides not to give him the bento. Jairo tries to cheer her up, but he doesn't know how to compliment girls. He says some awkward things that make Akari laugh. She teases him because he seems to like her. She tries to get closer to him, but he stops her. He says that they shouldn't act like that because they have their own crushes. She agrees and says that they should stop pretending to be married, and that they should end their plan to reach the top rank. They start to ignore each other and lose points. Later on, the couple's training points are announced. Minami and Shiori have reached the top rank. Sadaharu asks Jairo about his couple points because he and Akari rankings have dropped. Shiori comes to Jairo and asks him what happened between him and Akari. He says they had a fight and she tells him to make up with her. He goes home and sees that they have zero points. He talks to Akari and apologizes. She says he doesn't have to apologize, but he can tell she's still mad. He says he hates how things are between them. He says he didn't reject her because he didn't like her. He says he finds her attractive and wants to start over. She laughs at him because he sounds so desperate and serious. She says she enjoyed their fake marriage more than she expected. She makes him kiss her hand and they agree to act like a couple again. Akari and her friends are chatting about their experiences in the couple's training. Jairo and Sadaharu are watching them from a distance. They see all the girls, including Akari, admiring Minami and his sports skills. Sachai and Natsumi talk about a rumor that the couples who reach the top rank do not actually switch to different partners. They know that Akari wants to switch with Minami. They praise her for her dedication and comfort her. Jairo feels jealous of Minami. He thinks that Minami is a hero and he is a loser. He doesn't know how he can compete with him. Jairo is stressed out after gym class. Shiori asks him what's wrong, but he doesn't want to tell her he likes her. He asks her if she wants to stay with Minami since they reached the top rank. While this is happening, Akari is cleaning up the gym. She meets Minami in the storage room. He saves her from some falling boxes. She feels shy and happy around him. She asks him if he wants to switch partners, but he says he doesn't care. She cries and he tries to cheer her up. Sadaharu spots them and thinks they are getting lovey-dovey. He panics and runs to Jairo. He can't tell him what he saw because Minami and Akari show up. Shiori and Minami leave together, smiling. Jairo and Akari leave together, silent. The following day, the girls are absent. Jairo plays video games with Sadaharu. Sadaharu reveals to Jairo that he saw Akari and Minami being lovey-dovey. Jairo feels angry and sad. 
he thinks that Minami is better than him. At night, Jairo comes home to Akari. He tells her that he can't compete with Minami. He says that he knows about their kiss in the storage room. Akari is confused and explains that it was a misunderstanding. Jairo gets angry at Sadaharu for lying to him. Akari says that she is sad that Minami and Shiori don't want to switch partners. They comfort each other because they can't be with their crushes. Akari takes a shower and wears Jairo's shirt. Jairo thinks she looks adorable. They watch some shows together. Jairo feels attracted to her, but he reminds her that they still like other people. She teases him and says that he was her first and only kiss. Jairo is shocked and happy to hear that. At school, he is happy to find out that he has to do some tasks with Shiori, his crush. He doesn't know that Shiori and her friend may planned it to make him notice Shiori. Akari is chatting with her friends. They tell her that many couples have become real couples after the training. They tease her for falling for Jairo. She denies it and says she still likes Minami. Jairo and Shiori spend the afternoon doing their schoolwork. Jairo tries to talk to her, but he fails. Shiori tries to have a conversation about their childhood. Akari mistakenly sees them together in the classroom. Shiori asks Jairo to bend down and he thinks she wants to kiss him. He leans in, but she just wipes some chalk dust from his face. She actually wanted to kiss him, but she chickened out. Later on, Jairo remembers his failed confession to Shiori when they were kids. Akari decides to join him with drinks. They look at the stars and wish they could see them with their crushes. Akari tells Jairo to call her by her first name. But Jairo is too shy because it means they are close. Akari says she likes her name, and she wants to hear it from him. Jairo calls her by her first name and says it suits her well. He says his name is boring. Akari feels embarrassed and almost confesses to him. She dashes to her room, unable to understand her feelings. The following day, their teacher says that they are failing the class and will need to take extra classes together to graduate. Akari doesn't care, but Jairo is scared because he sucks at school. He worries that Akari will hate him because he is a bad student. Jairo asks Akari if she has any trouble with any subjects, but she avoids the question because she wants to do some karaoke. Jairo tells her that they need to study when he realizes that she is also not a good student. Jairo and Akari study hard at home. Jairo learns that Akari is a quick learner but a lazy student. She offers him sweets and smooches to stop studying, but he says no. He encourages her and compliments her when she does well. Akari feels grateful and focused. She flirts with him again, but Jairo surprises her with a special move. They get closer until Jairo's nose bleeds. They pull away and Jairo thanks his nose for saving him from trouble. Akari is curious to why Jairo is helping her with her studies. Jairo thinks he owes her for trying to earn them points. Akari thinks about what would happen once they reach enough points to switch partners and feels sad. The next day, Jairo notices that Akari calls him by his last name. He thinks she's happy and normal, but he wonders what it means. He googles it and asks Sadaharu for advice. Sadaharu reveals his bad relationship with his partner and rants about women being indirect. They bump into Shiori and Mei, who are practicing confessions. Jairo feels confused and wonders if Akari wants him to call her by her first name. At home, Akari tells him that their ranking has gone up after their hard work. After his shower, Jairo tries to call her by her first name. She blushes. Jairo repeats her name and she admits that she likes it when he says it. Meanwhile, Mei sees the ranking change and tells Shiori to act fast or lose Jairo to Akari. Shiori gets hurt and Mei tells Jairo to visit her at the nurse's office. She also questions why Shiori likes a wimp like him. Jairo brings some food to Shiori, but sees that Minami already gave her the same ones. She asks him how his training with Akari is going and if they have done anything more. Shiori feels like everyone is growing up faster than her and she's still a kid. She suddenly asks Jairo to help her practice kissing. Jairo tells her that she should do it with someone who has experience. But Shiori says she wants him. They start to kiss but Shiori chickens out. Jairo and Shiori accidentally kiss when Sachai walks in the nurse's office. They're mortified and Jairo runs away. Akari worries about Jairo and gets a text from him saying he was at the nurse's office. Sachai tells her she saw students doing naughty things there. Akari feels sad and skips studying with Jairo. She goes to a cafe and gets free drinks from the staff who pity her. She wonders if Jairo and Shiori are a couple now and if Jairo will ignore her. She comes home and finds Jairo asleep on the couch. She makes a bed for him and realizes he waited for her all night. She decides to chill with him on the couch. The following morning, Jairo wakes up and sees her next to him. He freaks out and she teases him that they did it last night. He apologizes for taking advantage of her, but she says she was kidding. 
He feels angry and let down. She scolds him for not caring about Shiori. Akari is sad that Minami and Shiori seem close. Akari goes to the fireworks festival, and Jairo helps her wear her yukata. Akari's friends had a surprise for her at the festival. They invited all the boys from school, including her crush Minami. Akari still had feelings for Minami, but she couldn't stop thinking about Jairo. She hoped Minami would show up, but she also felt torn between him and Jairo. But when the boys arrived, they said Minami couldn't come because he had to work. Sachai scolded them for failing their mission and told them to get some food for them. Akari felt disappointed but also relieved. She didn't know what to do if Minami came. But then she saw him at the festival with Shiori. She was heartbroken and ran home, not knowing that Minami and Shiori were just passing by. Jairo was alone in the apartment, wishing Akari a good time at the festival. He got a call from her and heard her crying. He rushed to help her and found her outside their apartment. She told him how she felt like a failure after everyone helped her get ready for the festival. He comforted her and took her to their balcony. They watched the fireworks together and she asked him if he thought she was cute. He helped her change the ribbon on her yukata and they hugged. They watched the fireworks finale and Gyro thought sadly that this might be the last time they would see them together. The following day, everyone was depressed at home. The next results of the marriage practical came out and Gyro saw that he and Akari were almost a top-ranked couple. Akari barged into his bath because she saw a spider and asked him to kill it, even though it was tiny. She was scared because the spider disappeared and asked him to guard the bathroom door. Gyro and Akari share a meal and imagine what it would be like to be a couple in another life. Akari suggests they date for real, but then laughs it off as a joke. A spider scares Akari and she clings to Gyro. That night, she sleeps near the wall to feel closer to him in the next room. Shiori, who kissed Gyro and has feelings for him, asks Minami for advice on her friend's love problems. Minami knows Shiori is talking about herself and tells her to go for it. May also supports Shiori and offers her advice. They plan a sleepover, but May cancels at the last minute. Shiori walks home and sees Gyro with Sadaharu who signed them up for a summer job at his brother's cafe. Gyro tries to explain, but they have trouble communicating. He walks her home and they almost kiss. Summer vacation starts and Gyro agrees to work at the cafe with Sadaharu, who needs money for his games. Shiori tells them that she and May applied for the same job and is happy to see Gyro there. Gyro is excited to work with them all. He goes home and finds Akari in a swimsuit, teasing him for getting excited. She says she will go swimming with her friends and work at a beach cafe with them. She wants him to say he will miss her and they hug. She hopes he has fun at the beach instead of playing games and they realize they will work at the same cafe. Minami welcomes the group to the cafe and shows them their dorm. Jairo gets some advice from Sadaharu on how to flirt with girls, while Shiori invites him to join her in the kitchen. Minami shows Akari how to operate the cash register, and Mei teases Shiori about her crush on Jairo. She encourages her to confess her feelings this summer. Jairo learns how to make a delicious drink from Shiori, but he spills it everywhere. She almost tells him how she feels, but she sees their friends spying on them. They both remember their childhood summer and promise themselves to confess before this summer is over. The group enjoys a swim at the beach, and Jairo notices that Akari is wearing a more modest swimsuit than before. They have fun in the sand, but Jairo and Sadaharu can't take their eyes off the girls. Sadaharu thinks this is the best thing ever, except for virtual reality. Later, Jairo and Akari are sent to buy food for the group. They use the couple's discount to get a lot of food. On their way back, Jairo sees some guys bothering Akari and he scares them away by pretending that Akari is his wife. He apologizes for lying and they go back feeling awkward. Akari and Shiori chat with their friends in the bath about their crushes on Jairo and his classmates. Akari flirts with Jairo after her bath, but Sachai almost sees them. He slips up and calls her by her surname, making her angry. She confronts him later in her room. She wants him to be more affectionate with her in public, but he feels insecure and unworthy of her. He says she sounds like a jealous girlfriend. They hide when they hear Shiori and Mei coming. Akari enjoys being close to Jairo, but wonders if he loves her. They are nearly discovered by Mei in a compromising position, but she thinks it's a ghost. Jairo faints on top of Akari because of the heat. Shiori and Mei come back from the beach and notice Akari and Jairo arriving separately. They wonder if they had a romantic encounter on the sand. The next day, Jairo is thrilled to see Shiori in her pajamas and Shiori tries to talk to him. 
but she hesitates. He helps Akari get ready for the day and she jokes about their mishap the previous night. Jaira works with Shiori in the kitchen and tells her about a scary challenge that will happen later. Shiori is afraid because she thinks she heard ghosts on the beach. He wishes they could be partners and she blurts out that she loves his kindness, then runs away. Sadaharu overhears them and offers to pair them up for the challenge, since he can control the pairings. Jairo agrees, but he also wants Akari and Manami to be together. The last number of your like is who powers you get. Comment who you got. Don't forget to subscribe for more anime recaps.